guys, what up? I am home in my apartment filming now for good. I, it feels really good, I feel more comfortable. I got the lighting right, I got the camera right, the lens right, the mic right, everything is good. So a lot of you have been asking me about my new hair on Instagram. I got some new hair going on. I got these tree braids that I did over the weekend. I can't tell you how long it took me because I lost track, but I used human hair this time, so it is super versatile. I can curl it, I can crimp it, I can straighten it, I can do whatever, I can wash it, it's all good. Uh, it's super long, so it goes about to my waist, about waist length, maybe, uh, it might go to my butt actually, if I stretch it, but I'm loving it. I am um, absolutely, it's just like, oh, it's so easy. It's literally so easy, you can put it in a bun, you can do all types of, wizardry with it, right? So I am going to get into the specs of the hair and then I'm gonna show you a demo on how I braid. It's super easy, so much more simple than you probably think it is. And um, I hope you guys give it a try. So for the hair, I used about four packages of this Janet Collection Brazilian Scent Natural in number four, and this is 24 inches. Uh, so you can see it's just wefted human hair. I got the least expensive human hair that I could find because I didn't want synthetic anymore. I wanted to be able to curl and do all types of different things with it. But I also didn't want to spend a ton of money because you know, a bundle could cost you anywhere between, you know, 75 to whatever, you know? So I tried to get it really nice and cheap so that the hairstyle wasn't so expensive. So I used four packages of the number four, I used one package of a 27, and then I used one package of a 30. Uh, so you're gonna need about, about maybe seven packages. <laughs> I used a 30 and a 27 mixed in the front just so I could have some like really natural highlighting. I didn't want it to look too, too much, too blonde, too anything really. I just wanted it to look very similar to my own natural hair color. Um, and then I feel like the ends get a little bit lighter. I don't really know why, because it's not like an ombre or anything like that, but I feel like you get a little bit more of a lightness towards the end of the hair. So when you have a weft like this and you want to get the hair off, it's really complicated, okay? It's like, it's so hard. It takes so much skill and it's just like, it's really, really mind boggling. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, that's like a joke. You just got cut it off. So once you cut the hair off the weft, you might get a little hairs, like a little extra hairs at the top from when the weft was folded over and sewed on. But uh, yeah, that's that's basically that's basically all you have to do. So I basically just finger to tangle it. This is a lot for just one section, so you might want to use a little bit less, but just wanted to show you how you get it off the weft. So once you do get it off the weft, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the hair right in half, and then you're gonna start tugging on the ends and this is gonna to help to elongate this little section. So just hold at the center and then just pull at the ends. And then you'll get something like this. Nice and long and tapered. And you can stretch it as long as you want, um, but if you stretch it too much, it's just going to split in half, basically. Uh, so yeah, just mind, mind yourself. I'd say about here is good that'll be the length of my hair. So I'm starting with a section that's about this size. Um, so about half an inch by half an inch. And I like to use this as I am twist defining curl cream on just my freshly washed hair. I feel like it does everything I need it to do. It gives me a little bit of definition. It moisturizes my hair. Um, so, and it tangles really well. So I'm gonna take this comb, a fine tooth comb, just to make sure I don't have any tangles. And then what I'm gonna do is just part my hair in half. So I have two parts. And then I'm gonna take my extension hair, fold it in half. And then I'm gonna take one half of my hair, apply the extension hair, and then grab my real hair, and then pull the extension hair around. So I have this sort of loopy thing going on. But this middle part is gonna act as its own little section, this is gonna act as its own little section, and then these two just merge together. And then you just start braiding like you normally would. And 
And then when you get to the end of your real hair, close to it, just borrow from the section that's closest to it. And then just let it go. So here is another little section, just like that. Another small section. I'm gonna take some of that twist defining cream, work that through my hair. And then we get the extension hair. You're gonna put that on one half. And then loop again. And then just start braiding like you normally would. And then let it go. So yeah, that's basically how I do my braids. It typically lasts for about three to four weeks because my hair grows so fast. I get a lot of new growth, it looks crazy as hell. So <laughs> your hair might last a little longer than mine uh, if you take really good care of it. But like I said, it only lasts me about three or, four, three or four weeks and then I'm on to the next thing anyway. So let me know what you guys think. I hope it's straightforward and easy to follow. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.